हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम सी ए रमेश प्रभु चेयरमैन महाराष्ट्र सोसाइटी वेलफेयर एसोसिएशन टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टॉल्ड प्रोजेक्ट्स और द प्रोजेक्ट्स व्हिच इज नॉट टेकिंग ऑफ वेयर द रियल एस्टेट डेवलपर्स आर फाइंडिंग इट डिफिकल्ट टू कंप्लीट द सेम नाउ द मेंबर्स और द फ्लैट परचेजर हु हैव गॉट द एग्रीमेंट विद इन द टाइम लिमिट दे हैव नॉट गिवन द डिलीवरी दे हैव रजिस्टर द प्रोजेक्ट and even after registration the project they have given the timeline of 2 years 3 years to complete even after completion of 2 years we have seen that the project is not completed somewhere the project is stuck in such cases the flat owners should come together form an association of allotees and get it registered and then approach the marera to get the project transferred in their name i can give you n number of examples where on behalf of our association we are of of the association of flat owners we are represented and we have got such success i can give you a classic case of meul choksi you may be knowing gitanjali infra limited which is promoted by meul choksi where ed and other authorities are after him he is absconding and there is a project called tatwa at borwili that was you know stalled as ed was after him went out of india and the project became stalled we brought together all the association of allotees the association of allotees came together and out of 155 flats nearly 54 flats are attached by ed because some 50 flats were given to a contractor for completion four flats were given to the associate firms of the gitanjali meul choksi's firm so 54 flats were attached nearly only 150 101 flats were remaining and hardly 65 70% work was completed the people had more paid more than 75 80% money and the project was stalled it was supposed to be delivered position by 2015 even in 2017 it was not there the fortunately the project was rera registered we as an association formed came together we went to marera we pleaded marera saying that the association allotee should be allowed to complete the project yes there a contractor whom 50 flats were allotted intervened in the matter he intervened in the matter he said we will complete the project and of course we said any money that has to be paid we will calculate and we will be giving only the money which is due from us not beyond that and certain discounts were taken and entire project we allowed the developer that contractor to complete by paying 20 crore which means the nearly 7 to 8 percent even the money has been saved by the people and accordingly the contract was given to him and today the project is happening the rera allowed us and rera mm-hmm. allowed the assoy allotee to appoint this new contractor and get the project completed look at the way the project today from february 2019 the project has started now the lift installation has happened plastering is going on tiling is going on and all the club work is going on and today the people are having a hope that by december 2019 they will be able to occupy the premises this is the hope which has been created and this is the hope that you can have in the rera earlier when there was no rera the people were at the mercy of the developer today because there is rera rera can take the position of the project the rera can appoint a new contractor they can deal with the what is known as government and then take over you may be aware marera is proactively helping the project to complete the pro- marera is giving all the facilities required and i think every flat owner whose projects are affected and if it is rera registered they should go ahead and if it is not rera registered even an unregistered project complaint can be filed before rera get it registered and then it can be heard so i think it's a golden opportunity for people to take the help of marera and get their project completed second issue comes many of the allotees have been saying that they are not happy with the order of marera or 
the hearing opportunity is not given. I would suggest that Maharashtra Real Estate Appellate Tribunal has already been set up. There are two benches working and it is functioning very properly. There is a proper opportunity is given. Anybody is aggrieved of the Marera order or adjudicating officer order should certainly file an appeal, make the grounds of appeal and then appear before the appellate tribunal and I think it is giving you enough opportunity to express your uh, facts and get justice and it is a last fact finding authority and therefore my suggestion is that you should not be brooding around and you should not be saying that Marera, this member, that member or this person has not given you the justice. There is a justice. There may be little delay, but there is no denial of the justice. You should take the help of Maharashtra Real Estate Appellate Tribunal and wherever you are aggrieved, you should get your complaint addressed. Let me tell you one more thing. If the adjudicating officer has ordered for the refund or ordered for the some penalty or regulatory authority has ordered for the refund, in that case, if the promoter need to make an appeal, Again, he has to deposit at least 30 to 40 percent of the amount before the appeal is admitted or anything is heard. And therefore, one need to see that even appellate authority will pass an interim order to comply with the 50 percent or 40 percent of the ordered amount to be deposited with Marera. So, this way, even appeal going appeal for a promoter is not easy, but an alert can always appear and apply before the appellate tribunal. The fees is hardly 5000 rupees and the hearing takes place in 3 to 6 months and I think it is fantastic and you get a recent order. If you need more help and contact our association Maharashtra Society Welfare 022 1414 022 1424. Thank you very much.